hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to be talking about my academic journey from high school until third year i will make a separate video about my honors journey because that is a whole other story it needs its own video that's what i'm saying so let's start here i did my matric in a public school in Sushiro called Bogamo So Senior Secondary and it is an amazing school. I learned so much there and I was an amazing student. I was an A student. I'm not trying to boast. I'm just stating facts. Honestly, I did not and I still don't think of myself as an intelligent student because I know every single thing that I did there. I achieved there was because of my hard work guys I worked very very hard I worked harder than most to get the marks that I did even in my matric year and most of it was because of the support that I got from both my teachers and my parents they're just amazing people they helped me in a very very big way so fast forward to when we we're applying for university I know I applied for VITS, UP, UFS I also applied to Safako Mahat for medicine. So for a person who was passionate and determined to study medicine, it's very weird how I only applied to one university for medicine. It is what it is. And then fast forward to Jen, we get our marks. Yay. You all know Vits. The people who go to Vits, you know, before you even go for your statements. Vitz already sent you an SMSA, bro, you're accepted, come here, type of vibe. I mean, I got accepted to all of the universities. So I almost had to took a long, long time. We will get to that. I got accepted to all the other universities I applied to, which were three minus so five. I was still waiting for a response from them. And they were all offering me an entrance scholarship. So obviously how I chose where I go was based on their money because who does not like money and i was thinking about how i don't have to pay registration fee and stuff like that so vitz was offering me the most money and i went to vitz before i go to vitz i am stressed because in my mind i want to do medicine and i'm waiting for this one university that i will be able to do medicine because come on i was good the, the thing is, I did not apply for medicine for, for the others. So I was waiting on this one university to say, come, you know. And we kept calling and calling and calling. And they were telling us they're only making selections now. Stuff like that. We'll find out in a few weeks. In my mind, I'm like, what if I let go of this other university and I end up not getting in? So I decided I'm going to register at Vits. I don't even have to pay like the 10K plus registration. So what the heck i register for a bsc degree i get there they ask me um but like we know people who do bsc want to do something else what do you want to do i'm like i want to do medicine they're like okay cool that helps us help you choose your majors so you will be able to get it and then they tell me about the game program i'm sure a lot of people know about the game program if you don't i mean you can google it and then I choose my majors. Everything is cool. Tomorrow, I still remember, I registered on the 13th of Jan. The next day, I get a call from a lady at Savagomahada telling me I got into medicine. <laughs> Guys, I'm like, I got in. She's like, you got in. I'm like, oh my God, I already registered at Vids for BSc. She's like, it's not a lot of work. Just go deregister and then come to us and register. And then like a lot of things came back to me. I'm like, for the bursaries that I applied for, I applied under the idea that I'll be doing a BSc because I got provisionally accepted for a BSc. So it made sense to apply. So I was like, a little part of me, I think knew that I don't really want to do medicine. I don't know man I decided I'm not gonna go and do medicine I got in but I'm not gonna go do it because what if it's not something that I want to do a BSc is not that long it's just three years if I still want to do this thing I will do it via game pitfits fine 10 stats at 
we come first year guys the first part of first year for me it was a very different situation i get to visit it's this huge place we are at these the huge lecture rooms wss if you know wss you know wss they have like 300 plus people in your class and i had a lot of trouble making friends in the first semester but anyway got into first year i mean it's vits they pump us up a week <laughs> you know like you're the best of the best you got in here stuff like that you're in this class or in this course with people that are essentially as smart as you they've achieved the same if not more than you so it's a little bit intimidating when you think about it but it's fine we go on we learn the things that we learn we're doing stats i really did not like stats in undergrad i'm not gonna lie we did stats we did calculus we did physics we did chem we did bio the biggest challenge for me was unlearning the things that i learned in high school it's a very weird concept but the things you learn in high school either in chem physics and biology they're a little bit different to the things you learn in university so i had to unlearn a lot of things especially in bio which is very very difficult but anyway we move come first test can i just say before i move on a week i met people who are asking me hey what are you studying and stuff like that and i tell them oh are you going to be doing chemistry 1012 if you know chemistry 1012 you know it and i was like yes they're like yo brace yourself the problem lies there guys can we not scare kids can we not scare first years like your experience is not going to be the same experience as somebody else how i experience a course is not going to be how the next person experiences a course i might find something very difficult you might find it as a walk in the park so i was told you need to brace yourself that course is the devil passing it is very very difficult there are hundreds and hundreds of people who are repeating that course in your class right now and i'm like okay so i go into this program thinking Oh my gosh chemistry so chemistry test one <laughs> guys our chemistry test one was an mcq it's an mcq but it's still calculations and stuff mcqs are very tricky so we wrote i think that is where i broke <laughs> that was the hardest challenge that i have ever faced in my academic career coming from high school as an a student you get to visit you write chemistry you get your marks i think i got how much did i get i got 19 percent not 19 out of 40 19 percent for my test one chemistry it was bad i was just sad i think the whole month like nothing was nice and then we go to term two we write test two I still failed test two. I think I got 33 percent or something like that. I got to a point where I learned a very very important lesson and I still hold that lesson dear to my heart. You're gonna fail. Like this is life. You are going to fail and you need to be able to accept that sometimes you are going to fail. Just because you're going to fail sometimes does not mean you should give up. Does not mean you should just say hi I'm gonna fail anyway. It just means you need to be okay with the fact that you're going to fail sometimes obviously work hard so you don't fail but when you do fail it's not the end of the world it happens to the best of us fail test two and by some miracle i really cannot tell you how this happened because for the life of me i've tried so much to remember i don't remember i found out about a tutor and shame that guy came into my life at the very perfect time because i was probably going to fail that course and because it's a major if i failed it i'd have to repeat next year so i met this guy um he was a tutor he tutored a bunch of us in first year that's actually how i met a lot of people in my first year he tutored a bunch of us he was tutoring like stats which I was struggling with as well, but luckily I never failed. 
he was tutoring chemistry which i needed the most help with he was tutoring physics which surprisingly i was struggling a bit with even though i liked it i was always afraid that i'm gonna fail but i never failed it and then he was tutoring calculus i really enjoyed calculus i didn't need much help with it but he was tutoring it, so i was like what the heck i was just attending all of the classes he did not tutor bio because you just need to study bio and understand stuff so we went to classes guys by some miracle i really do not know how that happened i passed the media exam i was like are you kidding me he legit <laughs> I passed the media. I passed everything in my media exams. And I was like, it was a big, big improvement in a very, very short space of time. Remember, I just failed test two and then I get help from this person and I passed the exam. And then blog, uh, sorry, semester two, I continued going to his classes. Needless to say, I passed my first year. We moved to second year. So, in, when you go to second year in a BSc biology or BSc general, you have to choose which majors you want because I still wanted to do medicine. I opted to do physiology and animal plant and environmental sciences. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. One of the biggest lessons I learned in both my second and third years was that I couldn't have done most of the things or I couldn't have achieved most of the things that I did if it was not for my friends. Guys, I don't think I've ever said this to them, but if you're watching, thank you so much because the people you surround yourself with help you. And I think the biggest problem with first year was that I did not have friends, like people around me. So in third, in second and third year, I had friends and we're able to study together we're able to help each other with assignments not cheat help each other with assignments and we're able to discuss certain things if there was a concept i did not understand they were more than willing to explain if there was something i understood in a different way we're able to share ideas and i got through undergrad and i graduated with a bsc degree i look back now and i'm like i did this thing not intentionally first of all i went to fits because of the money second of all i stayed in a bsc because i had funding for bsc i'm just gonna be honest <laughs> i stayed in a bsc because i had funding for bsc and needless to say i fell in love with science and now i'm i i totally love what i do and I feel I would have made a big mistake if maybe I went into medicine what like maybe it's just not for me sometimes you just need to accept that some things are not for you but that was my academic journey guys first day was a ride first day was a ride so anyway guys thank you for watching this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content and comment in the comments below tell me the weirdest thing that has happened to you in first year or undergrad or any other year and how was your first year experience? How was your undergrad? How was your university experience? Just let's get chatting in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.